I've gambled three times. You keep saying that, but you've always been a degenerate gambler. What are you talking about? By the time you were in third grade, you were hustling drunks at pool. I baked you a cake! <laughs> what? You're gambling? You had 90 days! It's okay. This is called controlled gambling. <gasps> you can't control anything! And I've known you almost your entire life! <laughs> I bought 10 scratchers. I'm going to do three of them and leave the rest, which will prove I can stop whenever I want. This is insane. This is like when I said I could drink on an airplane because I'm not technically on planet Earth. <laughs> You're never technically on planet Earth. Now back off. Ned from my GA meeting told me to do this. Ned. OK, which one of you idiots is Ned? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have a meatball sandwich and then we're gonna talk. She barged into my GA meeting like a cracked out giraffe and yelled at the guy who's helping me. I didn't yell, I don't yell, I don't have to yell. You yell all the time. Do you want me to yell? Cause I'll yell. You kind of asked for that. Look, I had my doubts about whether I need GA and Ned suggested I try controlled gambling. Ridiculous, right? Well, actually, Work Bonnie. with me. <laughs> Yelling. When a newcomer is really struggling with doubts about being an alcoholic, I have suggested trying some controlled drinking. Why wasn't that offered to me? <laughs> because you came to your first meeting on a stolen lawnmower. <laughs> you weren't there. She didn't have to be. That story's legendary. I heard all you were wearing were go-go boots and a hockey jersey. <laughs> is that true? Yeah, Wendy, I got kicked out of a hockey game. I couldn't find my car or my pants. <laughs> Over the past week, I've played Lotto twice, did a little online poker, even bet a busboy I could work an entire shift without saying the word enjoy. So I went with manja, but it made everyone uncomfortable. <laughs> but the point is, none of it triggered me, which proves I am not addicted to gambling. Yes, you are. Maybe Christy's right. I mean, I know someone who got really drunk on New Year's Eve, slept with her Uber driver, and mistook a neighborhood raccoon for her cat. <sighs> She got herpes and rabies in one night, but she's not an alcoholic. There you go. I'm the gambling version of her disease-riddled friend. Later, if you do discover you have a problem, you know where to go. Well, everyone at this table can suck it. I've gambled three times. You keep saying that, but you've always been a degenerate gambler. What are you talking about? By the time you were in third grade, you were hustling drunks at pool. That's because someone used the bar at the bus station as daycare. <laughs>